like we're messengers of light. I mean, I want to be a messenger of light. Hi, I'm Monica Vega, and welcome to the Indie Seat. <laughs> Tonight we're here with Miranda Shines. Hello. <laughs> She's an amazing local artist, a yogi, fire spinner, rapper, dancer, model. She does a little bit of it all. Could you tell us a little bit about um, your artist background? Yes, of course. First of all, thank you for having me here. I'm honored to be here at the NDC tonight. Um, a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Miranda Shines. Uh, my spiritual name is Radharani Devi Dasi, and um, I'm a musician, an artist, a fire spinner, all those things you told. And, you know, I was born in California. My father is from Venezuela, my mom is from Brazil. So I'm Hispanic, and I love music. <laughs> Ooh, would you tell us a little bit about your creative process? So I started off with hip hop. I love to rap. When I was in high school, I wrote a lot of poetry. That was my first form of expression. And I also did a lot of acting and I took classes. And um, one day, you know, a hip hop beat came on and I was at home alone in my creative space. And it was an exhibit the foundation. I don't know if you ever heard that song. And it came on and I wrote my first rap song. I started to perform it in different talent shows and my friends and family like they encouraged me because I was really good at dicing up the syllables and delivering it in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So in that way put my poet my poetry became rap music. And um, I went through a crisis for like maybe seven years and I was disconnected that um, with myself but I sporadically connected with it because it was part of me you know mm -hmm. and that was my way of like telling a story and whatever I was going through so I reconnected with it after I went through a spiritual enlightenment and music my music journey began last year in May um, so I started to it, things just started to happen really quickly from there Right now working on an album called Reborn. That was the first thing that I was working on. And then it transitioned into an EP called Soul Trek. And Reborn was just like pretty much me putting everything that I memorized since high school into an album. And it really just draws from my experiences and everything that I went through. And I finished it with like the hooks and everything and it tells a story. But I'm, I paused that for a sec because Soul Trek is really my the hot seat right now. <laughs> um, I just started working with a producer. Uh, his name is uh, Brandon Menard. Uh, he's also known as Iha Rouge. And um, you know, ever since I started that with him, we, he started helping me develop my voice. And I've become like from a hip hop artist to like an EDM multifaceted kind of soul singer and I just came back from uh, Zen Awakening it took place in Orlando and it was an amazing concert uh, probably the biggest concert of the year because mm. you know uh, COVID and quarantine and um, maybe about like 2,500 people were there and it was like my I performed main stage and it was an amazing experience, you know? Um, a lot of people were there and thus, like I feel like a lot of things are happening in that way, you know, spawning from the ground up. <laughs> Would you tell us a little bit about your song, Dehumanized? Yes, Dehumanized, um, I, I have an entertainment lawyer and he, he hit me up and he told me the news about what happened with George Floyd and I started to, um, I was taking a break from TV because, you know, how they were like, there are a lot of news happening. Mm -hmm. But, you know, after he told me what happened, I started to um, watch the news and see what happened. And I, I, I was really impacted by it along with the rest of the world. And I was starting to see the influence and it was kind of like, oh my God, like <laughs> we're mm -hmm. having riots and people are really frustrated about this. So I started to um, write a song and I called it Dehumanized um, because it's, it's really like a, a current event 
that uh, affected me in, in another level. And when I started to make the beat with my uh, producer, we we went into the sounds of like clanking and like segregation and oppression, and we brought it all into one song and we called it Dehumanized. So, and the the chorus is called I Can't Breathe. So it's mm -hmm. really you know when you hear it, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Like say about it right now. Yeah, I think we got to hear it um, at one of your performances. And that was like really special. Would you tell us a little bit about like your personal philosophy? Yes. So I grew up in the Hare Krishna movement. My father is a disciple of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, he's a famous Swami who brought the um, the Hare Krishna philosophy to the Western world mm -hmm. in the 1970s. And um, his disappearance day is actually next week and we honor his appearance here on this earth and um, the Beatles were very much influenced by a huge movement you know spawned from that and um, I grew up vegetarian and what my family used to do he would cook he's a professional vegetarian chef for Hare Krishna temples around the world so I grew up in a very nomadic gypsy lifestyle mm -hmm. um, he cooked at the temple and we lived there and um, what we believe is that we, we follow the path of bhakti yoga. It's the path of love and devotion. Mm -hmm. So we try to harness that love and we, we express that in everything that we do is for the divine. Mm -hmm. um, and we remember that we are part and parcel of the whole picture. <laughs> do you think it's the responsibility of the artist to be a role model? And do they have a choice? Most definitely we have a duty in this world um, to express ourselves and to kind of communicate um, and relate with everyone um, on many levels, you know. Otherwise, how how do we how do we connect, you know? Um, my music, the way that I do it is I try to relate with other people and I express what what is going on with me, and a lot of it is feeling, you know. How do we feel and connect, and how can we change? the world in a positive way um, you know like we're messengers of light I mean I want to be a messenger of light you know um, so that's why I call myself a conscious musician because I rap and sing about um, things that are impacting and changing the world but I also tell people to embrace their darkness it's not like it's all happy, mm -hmm. happy giggles rainbows you know what I mean like mm -hmm. We all have a darkness that we've, you know, we had to go and suffer. You know, pain is the greatest teacher. And without pain, we, there is no gain, right? That's what they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, my name is Miranda Shines. You can find me on Instagram and all platforms. It's Miranda underscore Shines. Also, I have a website, MirandaShines.com. And just message me and I'll get in contact with you. I love my fans. I love everyone. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thanks again to Miranda for being here. Hey, I'm Monica Vega from Miami Chronicles. Here with the NDC, we just want to thank Context of a Generation for making this possible. Thank you. Peace out. So that was the NDC. If you like what you saw and you want to be a partner, or if you want to collaborate with us, even if you're an artist and you want to submit your work, check out our website, contextofageneration.org, or go ahead and submit an email to us at submit at contextofageneration.org. And for all the artists, make sure you put your name, your social media handles, and attach some of your work as well. And for those who are interested in being a partner or collaborating, please email us and we would love to reach back out. Peace. That was the NDC. Thank you.